Well, I'll be glad when this whole thing is over with. But first, I gotta take care of that hacker. Gotta do that. Get him some money, quiet him down. That son of a bitch. He's crazy. Crazy. He's got syphilis on the brain. Uh, yeah. I think he drinks, too. Well, I'll take care of him. I'll do that. Boy, it's nice being together, huh? It is. You're the best. Thank you. <laughs> Can I ask you something? Are we drifting apart? Drifting apart? Yeah, I don't know. I just, uh, I feel like I'm losing you. Maybe it's just my imagination. I don't know. I'm just so crazy about the money. and I'm getting another 10000 from this uh, friend of mine, Eddie. And, uh, and then that'll only need another twenty, And then maybe I'll be more myself. And hey, then maybe we'll go someplace, huh? Hey, someday, I'm going to ask you to marry me. As soon as I get that damn hacker off my back, you're going to say yes. I ask and you'll find out. I will. I'll get another five from another source. It's 15. Then I'll need another 15, and it's you and me, baby. That sounds good. Hey. We were good for each other in the past. We'll be good for each other again. Hmm. <laughs> Where are you going to get the other 15? I thought I'd ask you. But I won't give it to you. Don't say that. I think you use me. No, I don't. I think you used me before, and I think you're using me now. Honey. You're just like Fred. You use me. And that's over, Buster. You don't mean that. He took me for granted, and you're doing the same thing. And I'm giving you nothing. Nothing? Nothing. Not a nickel? Not a nickel. OK. I understand. So I used you. Big Fred used you. And you're a woman that men use and humiliate. And you don't like that, do you? No, I don't. Oh, I know you don't. Oh, I remember how you fantasized about Big Fred's death. How you dreamed of hearing him beg for your mercy. How you wanted him dead, and now he's dead. Interesting, huh? I find that interesting. You want to hear more? I have no idea what you're talking about. There's something about his death that I know that you should know. Only I don't want to talk about it here. It's too dangerous. But if you're interested, I'll be in the parking garage. Harold, you're behaving so strange. Uh-huh. What is it you want?
You like all the attention you're getting from the football players, don't you? Yes. You like firing Birdie, taking over the team? What were you going to tell me, Harold? Boy, you have blossomed since Fred's death, haven't you? I thought you had something important to say. Where were you the morning Fred got hit by the truck? Where was I? And don't tell me you were at home, because Birdie called for 45 minutes, and then I called, and there was no answer. So don't tell me you were at home. I don't like to hear people lie. Now, honey sugar, you know what's interesting? I've known you five years, and I've never known you to get up before 10.30. And I've never known Fernando to start his day's work by, by cutting the back hedge. And what did you tell Columbo? That Fred moved the car at night, so in the morning the garage door wouldn't wake you. Since when would Fred care if he disturbed you? He didn't even know you were alive. You see where I'm coming from? Let me sleep on this, honey. It's very confusing. I want the $15,000. I understand. I can't get to Columbo now. I got other plans tonight. But you've got until tomorrow morning. I'll call you early. I just need a little time. Uh, I want to lie down. Would you drive me home? What about your car? Is that my place? I just want to lie down. I have to think. I'll get the car tomorrow. Just one more thing. <laughs>